going on, everybody? You already know who it is. It's your boy, Sean Bennett 618 and I'm back with another review. Today, we got the playoff eights. Early at that, we went ahead and hit on Sneaker App, man, last week. And we ended up getting them early, so we're going to do an early review. So, man, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, tap that notification bell, so you don't miss out on any reviews that I do in the near future. All right? Let's go. playoffs in early man we got them in early shout out to the sneaker app i went ahead and hit on the shot drop that they did last week uh so i went ahead and smacked for the retro eight playoffs i might go ahead and try it again this saturday when they actually come out just to get an extra pair of i might sell it or might just keep it you never know but one thing about these retro eights they don't come out often so jordan was celebrating the 30th year of these releases and that's where they came from this year they first released in 1993 uh, Michael Jordan actually had these on in the playoffs against the Suns, the Phoenix Suns, Charles Barkley team, and he ended up defeating them, whooping their ass. And he had the retro eights on and he was balling them joints, man. And, uh, it's always been a, a great shoe of all the retro numbers. Uh, it gets his respect, but you know, people don't really talk about the eights much because they didn't do too many colorways with the eights. So I would say the ace don't get the respect. I mean, I'm sorry, the rep, they get the respect, trust me. The ace get the respect, they just don't talk about the ace much, so you don't see them come out too often, you know what I'm saying? But the bunny ears, that's what we used to call them in the hood. The bunny ears has always been a top favorite. Uh, but Wrigley getting the shoe. Hey, whoever be mailing out these shoes from Nike, I don't know who the fuck opened my package, but y'all gotta stop doing that. My package came open. Um, I was already nervous catching PTSD thinking that it was going to do what the playoff 13s did to me, which is another story. But yeah, I was thinking I was going to get an empty box like the playoff 13s and I was just not going to buy any more playoff shoes because for some reason they keep getting stolen by the male people. All right, so make sure y'all, y'all need a more secure box. All right, that's all I want to say. When I walked up to grab my mail this morning, my box was wide open. You can see the damn Jordan sign from, you know, the opening. So... Just saying, just saying. All right, well, anyway, we got them. I checked the box. Everything is good. Everything is legit. We got them, all right? So, like I said, they came out last weekend. I went ahead and grabbed an early pair. You know my size. Bam! Size 10. You already know what it is. Yeah, got that size 10 in. The box, the same normal little Jordan box. I feel like they can swoop up these boxes a little bit more. At least, at least put the cards back in. Like, I mean, only real shoe heads know about the cards that used to go in the box. A lot of y'all might not know about the cards that used to go in the box, but it used to be a card in the box. And that's when you knew you had some official Jordan. But yeah, do something. We gotta add some spice to these boxes or something, man. All right, so here go the retro ace. I'm gonna go ahead and open these, but before I open them, y'all mind if I smoke a little weed? Why not, huh? My shit, my channel, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody, ain't nobody on the YouTube community doing shoe reviews and smoking weed at the same time. So if you a uh, weed consumer, Go ahead and light that weed up with me right now. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and open the shoe. Okay, so yeah, everything legit. Box look good. They gotta check all that nowadays. <coughs> yeah, like see, they just, they just toss shit in here. Why my paper got a hole in it? Look. Why look like somebody got got there and ripped my crank up? They gotta do better with this, man. Alright, so we got the shoes. Let's check them out. Hmm. Yep. That's them. These are them. The playoff retro eggs. Oh, man. This is crazy. Seeing this shoe again is crazy because the last time I was able to grab these was in 2013 uh, when they released again. They released in 2013. Now, 10 years later, they're back. And uh, I'm excited, man, because I remember in 2013 when I grabbed them, they was a 10 and a half. I couldn't fit them. And uh, they was already, like, big. The shoe was already big in both of these shoes. You know what I'm saying? So, 
They was already big. The shoe was big. I couldn't fit them. It pissed me the hell off because that was the only size I could get at the time was a 10 and a half. But your boy got the 10 now. So you're going to catch me in these for sure. I'm a, I'm a person that buy these shoes to wear them. You know what I'm saying? I do the collector shit. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I wear my shoes. I don't know about everybody else. These will definitely be getting worn. All right? So instantly, boom. When I first opened the box, the first thing that hit me that I always liked was the bottom of the shoe, right? I had a phone case like this. So it's dope to see the bottom of the shoe. I love the bottom of this, the apes. Um, they're similar to the, mm, similar to the six bottom a little bit. It's kind of came around the same time, but yeah, uh, the eight bottoms, crazy. I always like the crazy. Uh, and they actually look like more durable than the ones that came out in 2013. If, if I could be wrong, that was a long time ago. Uh, but the suede on these is real good. Uh, this little leather they got going on right here. Yeah, that's fire. And I ain't a material guy. I don't know this damn material shit like that. But I do know the suede right here, it looks tremendously great. Uh, the side looks like the original sides. I used to, I don't know what that was. I used to always like like that. Uh, man, yeah, another great shoe, man. Shout out to Joy for bringing these back. Uh, I don't know if we're going to see any more colorways throughout the year. But that's a W right there. You know what I'm saying? That's a real W. We got another shoe dropping next month. That's going to be another classic shoe. The Retro 12 Cherries is a classic shoe. Uh, so get on top of that now if you plan on getting them this next coming month. Uh, because that shoe is going to be hard to grab. We will see, though, because the prices, what's going on in the world right now is the prices for these Jordans is rising. Nike usually go up uh, like $10 every two to three years, something like that. They raise their prices up on the regular price. Now, these was retailed at $210. Yeah, $210 for these shoes, they was retailed at $210. So in order for the resellers to be able to resell this shoe, they only gonna really be getting like a $40, $50 come up because you can resell these for $250 maybe, no more than $250. And uh, yeah, and reach the, that's about it. I mean, I feel like the prices, the resale prices is starting to get a little outrageous to where people not buying the shoes. Uh, a lot of consumers is leaving shoes on the shelves at the mall, so a lot of shoes is not even getting bought. We waste the material in the world. Uh, and I, at the end of the day, I always blame the resellers and how they change the game on buying shoes. Uh, the reason why it's at where it's at right now. So Nike is basically trying to raise the price on shoes so resellers cannot profit from it. That's my guess. Who knows? But anywho, I'ma still grab the shit, you know what I'm saying? And if I don't be able to get it from a store or an app, I bought a resale shoe price now, you know what I'm saying? Um, it happens. But luckily, I didn't have to pay the reseller price for these. I was able to get these at the, the retail price. Uh, one thing about me, I'm a retail junkie, so when I get that retail price, I'm very, very happy for uh, being able to accomplish that. So, yeah, I got these at retail. They're nice. I'm going to try again and grab another pair um, this weekend. Hopefully, I can hit on sneaker apps. And I might have that one for sale. If then nobody get them, it's gonna be a size 10. Um, I had that for sale. Possibly might not sell these mugs. Cause I ain't gonna lie, these are some very great basketball shoes. One thing about the retro ace, the comfortability of these shoes is crazy. You keep your foot in there, it's gonna feel like you're walking on clouds. Um, I remember as a kid, I used to strap these up, and you couldn't tell me shit on that basketball court. But yeah, 93, I was five years old, so yeah, um, definitely had these. Definitely had those for sure. Definitely had um, so yeah, another W for the year for Jordan. Uh, we need more W's, less L's on some of these shoes y'all bringing out. Uh, me personally, I would love to see the Jordan brand bring out the 18s again, which I did see. I did see a picture saying that they was gonna be releasing them next year. The white and red with the nose is very special to me because those came out uh, on my birthday a long time ago. So yeah, I definitely, they said they not get, bringing the suitcases, which is crazy, but that's just another pitch for me. I would love to see the retro 18s come back. Um, there, was some, there was some high number retros that I actually like. Uh, but anyways, we got the playoff eights. I hope you guys got chores, because I got mine. If you didn't get chores, you better get in line, or you better hop online this Saturday morning, because they will be dropping everywhere. All sizes, all family sizes. Your kids can get them, your babies can get them, your newborn can get them, all right? Other than that, you guys, I hope you guys have a blessed day. Stay positive, stay strong, stay high, and always stay hydrated. It's your boy, Sean Bennett, 618, and this was another review, and I'm out.
dreams, I'm the head sprinter, Lord, please protect me, I'm a born sinner, trap, doing numbers that ain't never lie, one day we'll be rich, hope I'm still alive, I can't stress for nothing, gotta make it happen, probably rob a nigga if I wasn't